Hi, in LTE, it is very important to understand how the resources are allocated in an air interface at physical level. Now, the standard format which is used is in terms of radio frame in time domain, which is 10 millisecond. So this 10 millisecond frame is repeated again and again over the air interface between the base station and the UE. Now, this radio frame is consisting of 10 different subframes. So we have up from zero to nine, we have a different subframes in that case, each of one millisecond. Within this subframe, we have a different slots allocated and there is a two slot in within one particular subframe. So one slot is of one or 0.5 millisecond. So this particular slot is having further division across the different OFDM symbols in the time domain. And this OFDM symbols actually depends upon how the cyclic prefix would be. If it is the cyclic prefix is extended one, we would have a one less symbol in that case. If it is a normal cyclic prefix, it will be seven OFDM symbols in that case. We'll talk about the prefix later on. Here, it is important to understand normally there are seven OFDM symbols within one slot, which is 0.5 millisecond in time domain. Now, it is in time domain, but what about the frequency domain? We have allocated certain frequency band, carrier bandwidth for any operator to operate uh, in 4G. So if, say, for example, they are allocated around 5 megahertz as a spectrum band or the carrier bandwidth, we understand in 4G we have around 10% as a guard band before and after the whole chunk of frequency. And within that, we have a different resource blocks. So every resource block here in this case, we are considering 5 megahertz, 180 kilohertz is one resource block in a frequency domain. In a time domain, this particular resource block is consisting of these 12 subcarriers along with the seven OFDM symbols. So the grid which we can see here actually makes one resource block. So allocation we are doing basically in terms of resource block, even in a finer granularity, it is allocated at the resource element level. So the smallest bit of the resource block or the resource allocation in physical layer is derived by the resource element. So it is important to allocate these resources efficiently across the different channels and signals. And we'll talk about that in more detail, but how we can efficiently use this radio interface uh, and the resource grid, it is very important because spectrum is very limited. We have to tweak and make a right balance between the common control channel and the, and the data channel, which is carrying the actual traffic. Also, we have uh, two different kind of frame structure. One for the frequency division duplex where uplink downlink is on the separate uh, carrier. Whereas in TDD, we have the same carrier used for the uplink and downlink. We'll talk about those different frame structure in the subsequent slides.